Mercury is the first planet of our solar system, while Venus is the second. But despite being the closest planet to the sun, Mercury is not the hottest planet but Venus. Mercury has a surface temperature of 430 degrees Celsius, while on Venus the temperature goes up to 470 degrees Celsius. So hey namaste everyone, you are watching Wise Vibe. The credit for making Venus the hottest planet goes to its very thick and dense atmosphere. It has about 93 times the Earth's atmospheric pressure and comprises of almost 97% of carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas. And what do greenhouse gases do? Yes, they trap heat. And so does CO2. Being a greenhouse gas, carbon dioxide traps heat coming from the sun and doesn't allow it to escape, making Venus's atmosphere very hot. Or should I say very very hot. The atmosphere traps so much heat that even during the night, the temperature doesn't drop much, thus making the nights as hot as the day. But on the other hand, Mercury doesn't even have an atmosphere. The first planet of the solar system also happens to be the smallest planet due to which its gravity is very weak. So weak that it makes it almost impossible to hold the atmosphere. Moreover, being the closest planet to the sun has its own disadvantages. The sun is constantly firing solar winds. Solar wind is a stream of charged particles having very high kinetic energy. And Mercury being closest to the Sun is most susceptible to solar winds, which also makes it very difficult for Mercury to hold its atmosphere. So long story short, the dense and carbon dioxide rich atmosphere makes Venus the hottest planet of our solar system.